Hello Dolphin users, now this video will teach you how to operate on the firmware and system files of the Seagate new hard drive. So this is one ST3000DN001 hard drive. Now let's turn on the drive. Okay, the drive gets ready. You can enter the program. Now let's power on the drive and the drive gets ready. Next, we can open the COM port. And let's see, let's read the output messages from the COM terminal. Let's try if we can enter F3 T prompt. So it's not a problem to enter the F3 T prompt. We can use Ctrl L to check the pre-amplifier type, the head number, and also the family ID. Now Ctrl Z, we can enter this one. We can see some commands. So this is to view the ng list. Now we can back up the ROM, so it's easy to read the ROM by ATA mode because the drive is ready. If not ready, then we need to back up the ROM by the COM mode. Now for this 3000DM001, we can also back up the firmware modules. Anyway, not all modules need to be backed up. Now we just select the module 3 because this 3 uh, is called as primary defector list. It contains uh, servo primar primary servo defector list and track list and pin list. The three defector list are stored in the module 3. So this one is very important. And also uh, the module 2B. Now we can back up these two and click OK. By ADM mode, so it's very fast to, to complete the translator and the defect, the primary defect list backup. We can also back up the system files, so it's another way to back up the firmware resources. Here we can see one menu called read SYS files. We can use AT mode and let's try COM operations, reading data. Now we can see, we can get the SYS map. Now here, the system file has been listed here. And we need to select the module 1B, primary defect super file, and module 28. So this is translator. And also, sometimes we need to back up the more SYS35. Actually, they have the same contents as the firmware modules. So system file, so they have equal contents as the firmware modules so we may also back up like the module 93 and module 346 so this important system files Okay, so we have backed up the system files, the firmware modules, and also the ROM. So for Seagate new hard drives, these, this kind of backup is enough. So it's very easy. For some kind of firmware version, the diagnosis port can be locked and users can use the unlock option 
to unlock the ROM and right to unlock ROM, send download key. So we can enter the F3 T prompt and see all the firmware modules. So thank you for watching this video.